Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by with the season five update within Warzone and Modern Warfare 3. We obviously saw a major title update for that, a major download that everyone had to go through and do prior to playing the game or getting on the update, right? And as with every major update that goes live with Call of Duty, sure they go through they update everything for that day so the new battle pass gets added in the new weapons the new operators whatever else is set for the season five update but then in addition to that they also add in new files to the back end of the game new uh game code and everything like that that is then data mined and leaked and oftentimes a lot of these new files that are added in are for future content and with that today we've got several new updates some surprising ones that have leaked out several new pieces of content or other future changes coming to Warzone and MW3 that leakers in the community have data mined and now we've got additional information on them. Now that said, just to preface the conversation here today with all the content and all the updates that we're gonna be talking about, just because something leaks does not mean it's confirmed. We've seen several major leaks from the past scrapped or altered or adjusted in multiple different ways so take everything here with a grain of salt it's not official until call of duty or activision themselves post something or say something and of course whenever news like that does surface i always got you guys covered so if you want to guarantee you never miss any updates any news any leaks be sure to hit that subscribe button turn on those post notifications and as we dive into all the leaked details here from season five if you enjoy the video a like rating is always really appreciated but the majority of the information today is stemming from bob network he's been posting and or retweeting various different data mined pieces of content and the first one is rather interesting because it involves yet another map update for Warzone. Now, obviously, we've had several of these leak throughout the year up until this point, initially with Rebirth returning, with uh, updates to, you know, Urzikstan, with Superstore and whatnot. We've now seen that drop, but this one is actually in relation to Vondel, a map that we haven't seen too much on in some time. It's occasionally uh, there in the playlist updates through the map rotation. It's really never a standalone map anymore. That's pretty much exclusive to Rebirth at this point, since that, of course, seems to be the fan favorite map. Surprise 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 but Vonda we haven't seen many changes on in some time but apparently according to the game files right now there is some kind of alternative version of Vondel that was added in with the season 5 files now this could be for a season 5 reloaded update this could be for a season 6 update there's really no specifics on this other than the fact that a new version of Vondel was found in the files now I have a couple of theories as to why that could be my first one is that perhaps since in the center of Vondel at the stadium there is a paintball arena sort of placed around they might be actually using that as a map for the upcoming paintball mode within Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer. Uh, if you've read the blog, if you've watched our Dev Call Insight video, uh, you may know that in season we're going to see a paintball game mode added to Modern Warfare 3, and it's actually pretty realistic paintball. Like they've changed the velocities on weapons to match actual paintballs. There's splatter effects from everything you shoot. The operators are designed like they're playing paintball. So if they're going all in on the core function of the mode, perhaps Vondel is just going to be cut down and we're going to be playing paintball paintball on an actual paintball field from Vondel. Could be kind of an interesting update there. My other theory actually ties into a topic that we're going to get to here in just a moment, so stay tuned for that. Anyways, next up, another leak that surfaced was in regards to the Season 6 Prestige camo. First up, I guess, yes, there is going to be a Season 6. I've seen a lot of questions about this, but we've had this confirmed because of the Prestige camo menu for some time, and I believe that should be happening towards the middle of September. I'm scrolling through my calendar right now. September 18th, according to the Battle Pass countdown timer, is when Season 6 should launch, and that's actually important for another topic later on as well, but we do know Season 6 is happening, and with it, our final Prestige camo is going to become available and with that you're supposedly going to need 300,000 XP to go through and unlock it meaning that if you want to master out a weapon you are going to need hundreds of thousands of XP to go through and get every single prestige camo which is pretty crazy if you really are going through and doing that for multiple different guns that's a lot of grinding they did say in the past they do not have an interest in doing like any sort of bonus reward mastery camo for doing all the season uh prestige camos which is a bit unfortunate it'd be a cool grind but nonetheless a season six prestige camo is on the horizon and it's going to require a whole lot of xp to earn now, shifting back towards that other potential Vondel update, we actually saw some new strings updated within the game files in regards to Zombies Royale. 
Now, if you've been watching our leak videos here for some time, uh, for uh, several different updates, for whatever reason throughout the year, we've seen new updates to Zombies Royale happen in the files. Several seasons back, they were adding in strings. Then these strings have evolved over time, most recently with season five, which would in fact indicate we are going to see another kind of zombies slash Halloween event mode coming to Warzone, presumably in October. Now, here's where things get tricky with that. Obviously, October this year is when Black Ops 6 is launching. So either we're going to have a very, very early Halloween event take place within Warzone and MW3, or we're going to have a very busy couple of weeks where we're basically in the middle of the Black Ops 6 launch and we have a Halloween event ongoing as well. But part of said Halloween event seems to be the return of Zombies Royale. We've obviously seen this several times before, dating back to Warzone 1. I would still consider it to be one of the all-time best LTMs that we've ever had within Warzone. And then as far as Halloween events go, I won't lie, as bad as uh, Warzone 2 was in my eyes, I did not like that version of Warzone. The Halloween event with like the mummy up at the top of the map and the UFOs and everything, really cool like they knocked that out of the park so there's a certain standard with the halloween event between the ltms and the cool in-game stuff that we've seen recently uh that standard set pretty high so hopefully that means that this time around when season six drops uh, our halloween event will be revealed and we'll have some good insight on that and it'll actually be up to standard with what we've seen in recent years but zombies royale is inbound and with that uh, with the alternative version of Vondel, if it's not just set out for a paintball update for MW3 multiplayer, perhaps we're going to see like a Halloween version of Vondel. I'm not sure why they'd choose to do it specifically on that resurgence map, but it's certainly a possibility and who knows, maybe with the season five reloaded update, we see an alternative version of Rebirth added to the files or maybe an alternative version of Urzikstan and everything will have a Halloween theme to it. But as of now, there's a few outlooks for Vondel and one does tie in nicely with the potential of a new Halloween event happening in uh, next season at some point, either closer to the launch of Black Ops 6 in later October or as a surprise early update at some point throughout the season. And then to close things out, we've got to talk weapons because again, as I'm sure you know, if you pay attention to the leak videos, there usually are significant weapon update leaks with the major updates that go out within Warzone and MW3. This time though, things were a little bit different. We in fact, at least as of now, I've been monitoring a lot of the leakers and data mining community uh, over on Twitter, trying to see if they've been posting anything. And it doesn't seem like any new weapon files were updated with season five. Instead, we're still reliant on some older weapon leaks that have yet to come to fruition. You may recall that prior to season five, we had like a handful of weapons that have been leaked for some time, including the STG and the compound bow, which we now know as the Torque 35. Well, two other ranged weapons were also leaked around that same time prior to season five, and that is the RPL-20 LMG, and then also the HCAR battle rifle, which is essentially just a modernized version of the bar, which of course we saw back in Vanguard. So considering we didn't see any new weapons added to the files with season five, more than likely our season six weapons, at least for the start of the season with the battle pass, are going to be the RPL-20 and the HCAR. Now, usually every single season has anywhere between two and four new ranged weapons drop. Two at the beginning during the uh, battle pass launch and they'll be free in the tiers there. And then one or two at the mid season update. But because we haven't seen any new updates yet, at least in terms of new weapon files being added in, I'm wondering if because season six reloaded is gonna be so close to the launch of Black Ops 6, Perhaps we're not going to see any major significant weapon additions added in then, or potentially a major Season 6 Reloaded update at all. Usually, Season 6 Reloaded in years past hasn't been too extravagant by any means. Usually, it's not a super substantial update since a lot of the focus, a lot of the attention is on the new game that's dropping, you know, in just a couple of weeks time at that time. So that could be the reality here. Perhaps, though, in Season 5 Reloaded in a few weeks, we're going to see new updates leak then in regards to some future weapon updates. So we certainly have to keep our eyes out. There could be a lot of new leaks surfacing in the coming days and weeks. And as always, if any news, any info like that does end up getting revealed i'll have you guys covered right as it happens so stay tuned for that alongside everything else going on in cod by hitting that subscribe button and if you enjoyed this video a like rating on your way out is always really appreciated but once again thank you so much for tuning in and until next time take it easy have an awesome rest of your day and i'll catch you later peace out